You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. What is going on my battle royale nerds? So I'm here to hit you up with guys with another video, advanced settings for Fortnite. Here we go. So your X and Y uh, sensitivities are basically your left and right thumbstick. Um, I, push, I put it up just a little bit, the default is 5. And uh, I did this because I find the game to be really stiff, especially if you're aiming down scope. So I also increase your, uh, your scoped sensitivity to a little bit higher. Because when you're in scope, it's a, it's a little bit too tough like to move around. And if you're on PC, you basically want it to do from the left side of your mouse pad to sweep all the way to the right side to do a 360. So you can do a jumping 360 shot. No, I'm just kidding. But basically, you want it to go from left to right that you're able to do a 360, so a full loop. Okay, I'm going to move on to more vivid things, um, go into more detail. So we'll go into the uncap uh, frame rate. So basically, you want this off just so you get a better FPS. Um, it doesn't really matter for console. Um, if you're on PC, it, it really depends on your PC. Um, I'm in North America, so I'm going to put on North America. Invert view, definitely off. Um, otherwise, your controller is going to be all messed up. You're going to be looking up and down all over the place. Sprint cancels reloading. So this is important for me. Basically, I find when I'm in a gunfight and I'm stuck in a reload and I'm not able to switch over to my gun fast enough, I basically sprint and it cancels my reload so I can use those bullets to fire. That's why I use that. Um, tap to search. So tap to search, basically you tap the button once and it does a search for you so you don't have to hold that button down. Which is good, that way you can at least look around a little bit. And the next one is toggling, toggling targets. And basically um, this is turns all your auto guns into semi-auto so you'd have to click each time you fire. Which is good if you're that kind of a player. Personally I'm not, I like to hold the trigger down. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. Next is auto equip better items. So this is on default, so it's already on most likely. Um, basically it drops the least weapon, so probably gray or a green weapon if you're picking up a blue and a purple and your bags are already full. Um, vibration is on. It's a personal preference, it's really up to you. Next is resetting building supplies. So basically I have this off just because if I was building with brick previously and I switch back to weapon, then go back to building, it will show up as brick instead of starting over at wood again, which is a no-no. Next is brightness. You basically want this pretty high instead of low for obvious reasons because you want to see them. Next is audio. So I have the music level low. I just like hearing the music a little bit, so I left it on. And then um, the next one is basically to turn down other small noises. So then that way you're only focusing on footsteps and gunfire. The cool thing about PlayStation is that you can actually hook up a keyboard and mouse for this game. You can do it for all games, but on this game it works very well. Next is controller settings. So there's three modes. There's standard, uh, there's pro builder, and combat pro. And this is all preference personal preference. Personally myself, I go with Combat Pro. I just like able to switch between weapons easier. If you're a builder, maybe you want to go with the building one instead. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you with your gaming experience and that you enjoy playing Fortnite even more and that you start winning more. Um, I also have a similar video for Battlefield 1, so go check my channel out if you want to see advanced settings for Battlefield 1. Uh, I do plan on uploading way more Fortnite, and I'm also streaming Fortnite on an almost daily basis, about three to four times a week. So make sure you subscribe so you guys are updated about that. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this little clip.